Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Civil war in Congress. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. It is really all about... A growing list of advertisers announcing they are withdrawing from Fox News' The O'Reilly Factor. Amid revelations, host Bill O'Reilly and 21st Century Fox paid about $13 million to settle five sexual harassment accusations. Here to discuss is WSJ Media Deputy Bureau Chief Sarah Raybill. Hi, Sarah. Great to see you. You too. Thanks for having me. So we know that BMW, GlaxoSmithKline, and Allstate are the latest advertisers to join a growing list that includes Mercedes-Benz and Hyundai. This is really adding up, isn't it? It is. And I mean, even since we reported that last night, there have been more. So the list now, I think, is well over 20. Um, and even Monday Monday night, you only had about two advertisers who had pulled. So this really has snowballed very quickly. And keep in mind that the, time, the New York Times story that kind of got this all going was only over the weekend. And they were the ones to come out and report that there had been these settlements paid over sexual harassment claims and some verbal abuse claims as well. And so they're the ones that really kicked it off. But you've seen advertisers react very quickly in this situation. Absolutely. And more could follow, as you said. Now, of course, we don't know whether they are permanently withdrawing from the show, and it seems as if most of them are just putting their money elsewhere within Fox News. Right. So that's what we know so far. Most of them have said they're monitoring the situation. They are withdrawing or suspending their advertising for now, but that doesn't mean that they're pulling their money from Fox News. Fox has said they're working with all of these advertisers and basically shifting the ads they've already purchased to other programming. So at this point, the network's not losing any ad revenue out of it. Still, is this indicative of the fact that marketers these days are under increasing pressure to disassociate any time a show or a platform becomes embroiled in controversy? Absolutely. I mean, you're seeing it more and more. Fox News certainly isn't alone right now. You've seen it happen with Google and YouTube. You're seeing other issues pop up across social media. And social media really is kind of a driving force in this problem right now because it amplifies it. Everybody sees it. It builds. It's very easy to build a campaign against a brand or a network. And if you're a brand advertiser, you do not want to be associated with controversy. Regardless of how true it is or not, you do not want to be associated. And so, of course, there is the social media firestorm following all of this. Of course, yeah. some people calling for O'Reilly to be fired. Fox News so far has said it's standing behind O'Reilly, correct? Yes. And O'Reilly himself didn't address this directly, but did issue a statement saying that he faces vulnerabilities to lawsuits from individuals who want me to pay them to avoid negative publicity. Right. And so, I mean, you saw over the weekend Fox came out completely standing behind him. They, they knew the Time story was coming for several months. Mm -hmm. And so they said they did their own investigation. They talked to O'Reilly. O'Reilly says none of it's true. He denies all of these allegations. He hasn't addressed it on his show, but he has denied it in, in this statement from the company. And O'Reilly basically says he paid it because he didn't want to put his children and his family through this. Right. Now, but Fox News has addressed the concerns of advertisers and says that it is working with advertisers to address right. those concerns. But it, isn't Fox in a bit of a pickle because The O'Reilly Show is the biggest revenue producer on Fox News, I think bringing in something like $178 million in ad revenue in 2015? Right, and you're talking about in 2015. We assume it has grown since then. So it's the most popular show on their network. Um, but that's the thing. The, the viewers haven't left at this point, right? So they are still bringing in those ratings. And until you really see a ratings impact or a revenue impact, there's no tipping point right now for Fox to have to do something. Right. They're not losing money with the ads just shifting around. So the question is, how long does it really last? Yeah. Are advertisers just doing this temporarily until things cool down, or does it become a longer-term problem for them? We have seen public outrage, though, lead to on-air hosts being fired. I mean, with radio host Don Imus, rather, and we saw Fox News host Glenn Beck. So it's not an impossibility. It's not an impossibility, but, you, you know, you really saw Fox try to get ahead of this a little bit. And, you know, Imus in particular was definitely facing advertiser backlash. But, like I said, until the viewers go away or until there's a real revenue impact, there's no incentive. And, I mean, Fox and, uh, you know, our journal reporter Joe Flint just broke this over the weekend. Fox just signed a new contract with O'Reilly. And they say they knew about all of this and they factored it into the contract, whatever that means. Right. But they knew it and they got in front of it and they signed him on for more years. So it seems like the commitment is there for now. All right, Sarah Rabel, thank you so much for all that great insight. Thanks for having me.